loud hallelujah. hallelujah. As you open your mouth and shout loud hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Wave your hand for the Lord. Wave your hand and shout hallelujah. Give him a clap offering now. Give him a clap offering now. Where we are going to have celebration of anointing of impossibility. Because until you take God to be real, everything you do will be artificial. Until you believe that God is not a man, that he should lie. I asked some of my friends in Israel, I say, do you believe that God is whom he says he is? If you don't believe, there are enough proofs here to make your doubt nothing. And while you are in this church with me, if you cannot see God face to face and let him meet your need, if you are better, you were not born. You better listen to me. It were better you weren't born, and Jesus said, if you were born by mistake, you should be a big millstone should be tied to your neck, and you dumped to the sea, especially you pastors. For you to be with me a year, two, three, and no change, plan to die. But I'm going to believe God. Instead of your dying, you are going to live and do the work of God. <laughs> Nothing is too hard for God. Nothing. Nothing. For with God, all things are possible. And I'm here to declare to you. I'm here to assure you afresh. Religion will not help you. Religion relegates people. But Christ is real, and his reality can help people. Retire your yesterday from your calendar. Say, yesterday I retire you. I'm inspired for a new day today. If only you can see a new dawning day, you can see a new you. The problem is that you are so much after yesterday. Uh, my, nobody has ever succeeded in my family. That's why God took you out of it. I was once one of the hosts. But when God took me out, and he said, if you lift me up, I draw men now. He took me out of the crowd of the hosts unknown. Those who are older than me in this town, they, have, they know we have Idahosa Street, we have different things, but Idahosa was not what it is now. But when God lifted me, he's now using me to lift you and use me to lift everybody all over the world. And I'm here to tell you, retire your yesterday and you inspire your today. And once your today is inspired, if you can see a dawning of a new morning, the absence of yesterday will not matter to you. You are going to believe God. Even though I was here yesterday, I'm believing God for a better today. How many of you will believe God for that? What would have happened to you if you were the one who had been on the way for two days and you just rush home now to go and change your dress? You'll be sleeping. you say, I'm already a big man. In God, there's no size. And Jesus said, unless you come like a little child. And of course, you know there are no adults in heaven. All things become new. Those of you think you are old, that's why your waist is down. That's why you can't stand long. Today your waist is healed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Everybody shout hallelujah! Amen! You have reason to be happy. Because the one you are serving is alive and well. Last month, our Muslim brethren went to Mecca and Medina to the grave of the late Muhammad. But his grave is still sealed in Mecca. But any day you get to where Jesus was buried, the angel said, why are you? Why are you seeking the living among the dead? Our God is not dead. 
but he's alive. Somebody say he's alive. Jesus is alive. Only a standing person can lift a fallen person. Only a living person can help a dying person. Can you imagine if you go to the hospital and you met that your doctor fainted is on the bed? And you say, they say, who are you looking for? You say, Dr. Shegun. And they say, it's in the intensive care unit. We are trying to resuscitate him. You think you will still wait for him to help you? You know, I got to... I got to the Arab section in the old Jerusalem. And they were selling the picture of Jesus, the, the sculpture head of Jesus, the wounded hand of Jesus, the bed of Jesus. So I told them, Miles Monroe and the team that were with me, plus Pastor Bello from Kano, I said, you know why the Muslims are selling the picture of Christ? Because they don't have the one of their master. So they are helping us. Even though they are making money from it, you pass, they say, come and buy. Come and look at his hand. Come and look at his head. Come and look at his, every part of Jesus. Buy the cross. Buy this. I say, thank God that even though they are not serving him, they know that Jesus is the only one that promised, I will supply all your needs. He's supplying their financial need. He's feeding them. They are selling his pictures. They are selling his statue. They are selling everything that concerns Christ. Have you ever seen the picture of Muhammad? Because they couldn't get his picture before he died. And since he died, nobody dreamt to say he looked like this. You are not hearing what I'm saying this morning. I thank God for our Muslim brothers, but I thank God that my own we can describe him. Not only we can describe him, he's alive and well. Somebody shout hallelujah. I am glad he will meet your need today. Answer God. Sorry Lord, I was very busy in my business. He was not moving well. So I decided to make up for it first. Then Jesus will say, what will it profit you if you had gained the whole world and suffered the loss of your own soul? Open your mouth and say, what is in my hand? All right. Inside this egg, there are many, many cocks and hen. This egg is like you. If you refuse to hash, you die. Nobody will buy you more than, what does an egg cost now? How much? Okay, let's just call it 10 naira. Everybody say 10 naira. Now, once upon a time, this lady was inside here. The day the egg, the day this egg cracked, a small chick came out. Let me ask you a question. Can this, you think this is a cock? Maybe, let's call it hen until he's able to say no. Do you think this hen can still go back to this egg and stay there? Question number one. Question number two. Can this egg still size this hen? Why? Pardon? There are some people with gray hair here. That's gone beyond the stage. Question. Was this hen once here? Yes. Can it come back there now and size it? No. What is your reason? It's because it's grown up and it can't go back to the small size. Can you still call this one egg? 
Can you still call this one egg? If this egg remain 10 months, one year, and it refused to hatch, what will you call it? You will still call it egg? What type of egg will it be? Unproductive egg. Dead egg. I will call it unfruitful egg. All right. Unfruitful egg. Rotten egg. Hold it. Now, do you think that one day that one will be as big as this? In age, in age, will it one day be as big as this? All of you who say no, you have no brain. Will it be as big as this? How will it become as big as this? By growth. So how many category of persons do we have here now? How many persons do we have here? Two. Plus the egg. Many of you are like this egg. You are in the house of God. Whenever you hear there's miracle at the Kobahi, you enter taxi. Kuru, 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 kuru. You kneel down, you vomit snake. You vomit lizard. You do whatever they tell you to do. They ask you to bring anything, you bring it. Because you refuse to hush. You remain still. And after a while, you know what the owner will do with it? Isn't it shocking that some of us are like this? You refuse to rebel against the cage. Of the cell. You are inside. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. God expects you as his own to agriculturally how long is good egg good for before it should hatch? 21 days. 21 days. How long does pregnancy take to have a normal child? After 11 months, what do you call it? Experience. Overdue. Overdue. Well, nowadays, anybody we send that doesn't want to die should not wait for overdue. After two weeks, if you're actually sure when you got pregnant, you, did, you do not deliver and the pregnancy is still there, and you know the baby is well, go for inducement for improvement. There's injection now that can give you inducement for improvement. The baby that was sleeping one spot, when you now, come on, Katrin, nobody will. No husband will fight me if I do anything. Daibo, uh, come. You sit down, my dear. Let me illustrate with that because the husband is here. What I mean that you are more than two in one. If this woman get pregnant for 10 months, Daibo, and the baby is on this side, in the night he moves this side, in the afternoon he stays in the center, in the evening he goes to that side, and you are actually sure when you gave her the baby, you. Go and meet our boy. This is a medical doctor. There's injection that can force that baby 
to start suddenly to contract. If from contraction you get reaction, from reaction to delivery. Every one of you need an inducement for improvement. You must have motive for one day, one day. Every egg that refused to hash, we have no other name than an egg. Nobody will put, even though this cock is small, you think they will sell that one for 50 naira? How much do you think that one will cost? Hey, but how much? Mama Koji, how much? 250 at least. How many of this egg can you get from this one now? 25. Uncountable. Huh? All right, if you don't know how this chicken can grow, go to Ewu and buy feed. Guinea feed. They have guinea feed. Don't they have chicken feed? Not just guinea. Do you have only from natural point of view? This fowl have more life to give than this egg. You know why? One day that cock was tired of staying in this house. Even though the cover say you are not coming out, I think one morning the thing say it's a lie. Then the head came out small, and I'm sure it began to use the wing. And after a while, it came out from here. When it nearly came out, it couldn't stand properly. I've watched before. As a matter of fact, as a young child at Owena Street in Benin here, our parents used to warn us when hen newly produced chicks don't pass that territory. It's called danger zone. You will suddenly see fowl carry feather up and say, if you pass here to touch my child, I will show you lesson. Those of you who are already 50 who say he was never frightened by a fowl is a liar. Nowadays, fowls are caged. In those days, they are not caged. A chicken can go from Oza Street to Omuna Street to a good street. In the evening, it will find its way back home. How many know what they talk so? Talk of freedom and independence. Fowl used to have it. Unless you, who is hearing me now, receive inducement for improvement, you are going to stay stalled. Until the owner will say, now that you... Of course, in those days, this is what we do when we want to buy egg. If you see khaki inside, you put it on one corner. If you can see the map of the world, if you shake it, there's a boy or a girl who refuses to come out. What do you do? But if you hold it and there's light right inside, what do you do? You take it. That's the good egg. Each one of us were once an embryo. Hidden talent, hidden gifts, hidden capacity, hidden abilities. Until the day we woke up and said, Lord, Satan can't tie me down. I want to be free. We stayed. But anyone that rebelled and come out, 
Jesus said, the Son of God set you free. You are free indeed. This is how this egg changed to that little one from that stage. I actually told her to bring three stages. The one before this and the one bigger than this. Turn to Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians 3.10. Those of you who went to school, help me to read. Verse 10. One to go. To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Who is supposed to know the manifold wisdom of God? Who is supposed to know the manifold wisdom of God? The church. I wrote all this on the way. I said, no matter how wicked parents are, they still love their children more than other people. Just for the dignity of the family. I read in Jerusalem, God commanded the earth to bring forth abundantly. How many of you are parents? Raise your hand, let me see. If you have ever produced a child, stand. If you are a father, you are a wife, you are a mother, you have children. Let me ask you, at this time of austerity, do you feed visitors before you feed your children? Let me ask you. Go back there. If you have food for three people, and you have five visitors, and you have three children, who will you feed first? Your children before the visitors. Yes or no? Everybody who, is, who have children, you, will you feed visitors before you feed your children, or you feed your children before visitors? All right? If you don't believe what we are saying, 1953, I was at a war. I visited the Balogun of a war. His children were my classmates at school. Hear this, all of you parents. I got there and the parents said, ah! Benson and Cabo, Cabo, Benson and Cabo. I said, oh, Jare and Cabo. They were eating. And the man said, what about Do you know when I heard what about Jeun? My whole stomach that was half full, completely dried. Because I looked at the Ewedu. I looked at the Amala. I became over hungry by force. Then I, sh I went forward. And the man, yo, back my boy, he said, Shegun. That one said, Sir, back back to you. Adewa Leda, Sir. Iyabo, sir. Poluke, sir. He called 11 of his children. I was still standing. Then he said, Mama, I'm going to show you. The woman said, Ah. He said, Benson, say, Mama, Debbie Lola. I hope you are coming back tomorrow. He fed his children in my presence. Guess what I did? I began to cry. <laughs> my tears were so loud that my classmate brought his own and said, Bonne. Bon say, cut out of it. This same Benson standing before you, there was a time I cried for a handful of Amala. Because a man gave me invitation. If he did invite me, I would have managed. But since he invited me, what about a Jehu? I didn't know he meant my debe. All you parents, my question this morning. Won't you love your children before strangers? Why do you think God will love sinners before loving you? Listen to some scriptures this morning before God made. God said to the sea, bring forth abundantly. Produce after your kind abundantly. To sheep and cattle, produce after your kind abundantly. 
God said that before he made you. Did anybody hear what I'm saying? He gave instruction for reproduction in excess. So that none of the two of you will blame him. As a matter of fact, continuity of production. Look at your Bible. Let's start from verse, verse 22. Verse 21. Great whales and every living creature that moveth with the waters brought forth how many times? I say how many times? Abundant. Everyone say abundantly. After their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Verse 22. And God blessed them saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let Fowl multiply in the earth. Is that in your Bible? 24. And God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind. Cattle and creeping thing, beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. 26. And God said, let us now make man in our own image. After our likeness, verse 28, and God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish, parents, sit down, over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, give me that fowl back. The hen and the egg and the cock. Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree Yielding seed, a tree with fruit yielding seed, a tree with fruit bearing fruit yielding seed, to you it shall be for meat. Somebody shout hallelujah. Not only that we have the capacity of improvement, we have the capacity of multiplication and replenishing. Inside this hen are many eggs. And inside this, the eggs are many hens. And until you hash, you cannot have a name. If you remain as an egg, 10 naira. If you become a hen, 200. If you become a giant cock, 800. You can prize yourself from the least to the greatest or refuse to hash and your owner will be hashed to you by throwing you away. Inside you, I stood at Mount Olives. I said, God, if I come home, what will I say? He said, tell them from creation, I cheated nobody. I don't know whether you hear what I'm saying. I did not cheat anybody. I made sure that everybody have enough abundantly. Do we translate a wish to a will? Ephesians chapter 3. Look at the verse we read before. The manifold power of God should be made known to the church. 
The sovereign hand of God in action can be made known to the church. Wherefore, look at it again. Look at verse 11. According to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, the will of God eternally is for you to free yourself from your patriarchal bondage. You are to free yourself from superstition and unbelief. You are to free yourself from hiding inside the egg and using the egg as a cover of weakness. It is not the shell of the egg that refuses the egg to come out. Because anytime you knock your head, the shell will crack. It is when you refuse to rebel against the cover. January 1st, God told us that this is the year that hidden treasures will come out. And Jesus made it simple to you and to me by saying, Knock. What will happen when you knock? Seek. Seek. Knock. Let's categorize it. Ask. Knock. Seek. Break it to three parts. The ability to ask is easy. I wrote on the second paper I have here. Proud, proud people. Humble themselves when they have need. Those who object to prosperity do so until they have need. But once they have need, they humble themselves to ask from those they condemn for wealth to provide for them. True statement? Some of you women, have you not seen some women say you brag? Look at you. Three wristwatches on your hand. Seven rings in one finger. Lace in the morning, the latest in the afternoon, organza in the evening. They use their mouth to peck you. But the day they will have need, what do they do when they come to your house? Say, start day, I've been praying for you for long. God will bless this, your market. God will bless your children. God will bless everything you do. In prayer meeting, what did they say? All those arrogant women among us, Father, subdue them. But by the time they drive their children from school, Jolly Mama, where are you? We have been fasting for you now for three days. So that God will continue to bless your air market. How many can say amen to that? The same people who said, for the last three weeks, you have not come to church. Because you are looking for money. Ego, aware, ego, ava, ego, ota. But when need arise, mommy, if you know how I've been praying for you, that God will continue to prosper you, the kindness you are showing to people, God will continue to increase your business this year. More money in the name of Jesus. If you say true, amen, it shall be to you like that. The same people who prophesy that you are not growing enough. By the time they have need, they say, We have been fasting for you. That God will bless you so you can bless them. So, what do you do when you find yourself that God said, My eternal purpose for you is to bear fruit with seed inside? And that the seed from you will yield more seed. How many of you will take that for yourself? That after today you become fruitful? After today you multiply? Is anybody saying amen to that? Do you know that from my own discovery, the few people we have in this ministry here who are rich, 
are the most humble. Do you know the proud people? The poor people. Rich people humble themselves. Why? Because they have searched their diary and record. It's not they that made themselves. But God made them what they are. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And because if they lose grip from God's hand, they lose what they have. So what they do every day is <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Amen. To God be the glory for the great and mighty things you are doing in our midst. We are grateful unto you, Lord God Almighty, for prosperity. We want you to prosper us. We want you to do great and mighty things in our midst. We want you, Lord God, to show more love to your children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, we are grateful unto you. Lord, we are grateful unto you. Thank you for your son that you are using for us every moment of the day. You want us to grow from day to day, to glorify your name, to exalt your name, to give you thanks, to show your people that you are God. Lord, let us be good eggs that will go into the shell and come out and produce and produce and be good children. Lord God Almighty, we pray, Lord, evangelism is our supreme task, that we should continue to evangelize and bring people into your fold in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we must never give room to the enemy to cheat us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, help us. Bless us, Lord. Thank you for your son that you took all the way to Israel, brought him back home safely. He brought us good news. And that is what we are receiving. We are receiving it in truth. We are receiving it with our, our might. We are receiving it, Lord, with your goodness and mercy. Bless him, Lord. Guide him, Lord. Keep him, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, meeting his knees at the nick of time. In the mighty name of Jesus. More anointing for him. In the name of Jesus. That he will always lead us. Lead us in your own way. That your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord of Lords. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Thank you, Redeemer. Thank you, friend. How great thou art. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody say amen. Oh. <coughs> Somebody say amen. <laughs> I tell you, minister, I love me. You want me to break? Amen. Amen. Now listen to this. Let's look at two things. The command of God at the beginning is that you multiply. Say, I will multiply. I will multiply. The command of God for eternal ages past is to hold principalities and powers to ransom. What would have kept you? Lucas, Lucas, send us an insight. What would have kept you from advancing in life? The Bible says Jesus held captivity captive. So that whatever will hold you from rising is tied by God. Until the power in you is released for abundance. Can somebody say amen to that? According to the eternal purpose in God, to that intent unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be made known the one of hell and Hades is tied so that the one in heavenly places might be made known. The mystery of God. Verse 11 says, According to the internal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Verse 13. Wherefore I desire that ye faint not 
at my tribulation for you, which is your glory. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory. How many of you want to get the riches of God? Well, what I'm teaching you now, she had it one day. Less than 20 years ago. She had it one day that her destiny changed. Our elder there had it one day. That what he will go and look for in Germany is waiting for him in Benin. If he will be patient with God here, what he needed abroad can come from above. How many of you know that above is nearer than abroad? One of our bishops said to me, to be precise, Bishop Imafidon, go and ask him when you close. He's a very dear friend of Reverend Dr. Kuya. He said, if we were having dollar the way you have dollar, we would have finished that small building a long time ago. I said, even if you have dollar, now you'll be duller than dullness. It is God that lifts man and not money. But once God lifts you, he gives you the attribute to let him be glorified. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? Many people have suspicion and superstition. That's what I wrote here. Until you remove your head from the patriarchal knowledge. Does your knowledge of, I don't think anybody in my family can prosper. That is why we want to re-anoint your head. So you put off the old man, the old idea, that chain that your grandfather used in holding you, that you vomit at the Boba Hill. He doesn't need vomiting. He just needs a change of mind. Put off, put on. Put off the old man and his rudiments. Put on the new man in Christ. You say, God, you say you are the way, the truth, and life. I left Lagos this morning. Immediately we got to Shagamu. The whole sky darkened. You couldn't see from here to that cameraman. And I said, God, you say you are the way, the truth, and life. Darkness could not comprehend your face. Because of that, the way will be cleared. And you guess what? In less than 20 minutes, both sides of the road, the sky began to give way. Whether it was by the prayer that I prayed or not, the road was clear. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Sometimes you want the prayer to be answered first before you move. It is when you move that the prayer is answered. You didn't hear what I'm saying. So I asked the drivers, put on your light. Where there's darkness, put light. When you put light, darkness cannot seize power from light. I don't know whether you are hearing me. Everything you call magic is miracle in the right direction. What is success? Success is failure turned outward from inward. Success. When you say, I want to succeed, that's your heart. Your mouth brings it out. I am going to succeed. Say that. If you conceive it and you refuse to bet it, the baby will abort. But if you say it, by the grace of God, I will succeed. Are you hearing me? I say, are you hearing me? Last Sunday, I stood here. I said, some of you who believe will receive a miracle in 24 hours. Everybody said amen and I left. 24 hours later, a man called me. He said, I have my own miracle. A thousandfold. I want to pay tight to you. God said I should give you tight. Out of what God gave me because of your preaching of yesterday. You know how much he paid tight? 200,000. He had it on Sunday. He believed it on Sunday. He saw the result on Monday. 
You know what the rest of you said? In the sweet by and by, God may meet me on the other side. Unction, not actioned, is auctioned. If God inspire you, look at this woman. She sells oil. Oh, Figmo, the one where they put dirty for somebody, but now jolly mama they sell. Her own oil is not a stain. Her own oil is a miracle oil. Amen. She has enough children that you can count from my two hands. How many of them are with you at home? Only one remain. About 20 abroad. <laughs> Did you hear me? About 11 grandchildren. And more are coming. More are coming. I said more are coming. You had one last week. And before three, six months. Evare. Evare. Awa we Yeah. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying this morning? I'm in tears in, in Mount Olive. God, what will I say? He said, tell them, break forth. Force yourself out of the rope that tie you down. Because until you cut the thing by yourself, every prayer we pray, we send you down more until you lift your head. The Bible says, lift your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted, so that the king of glory will come inside. Look at verse 17. First of all, you have to believe that there's God's in purpose for you to prosper and have children and multiply. You have to tell your womb every day. Every day. Verse 17. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. 19. And to know the love of Christ with passed knowledge that ye might be filled with all the fullness of who? God. What is your capacity of possession? The fullness of God. I know you hear that one. Capacity of the fullness of God. Capacity of the fullness of God. Capacity of the fullness of God. All, all, all that God is, is whom we are. But now listen to this. Verse 20 is saying, I will let you go and see that. Now, somebody say that to everybody. Unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I ask or think God is able to do how does miracle happen there's a stage of pregnancy what they call in, in, in gynecology Taking. There's that time of the tissue now become a being. You nourish that thing. How do we nourish faith? By feeding it by constant reminder. How did Jesus put it? Ask. Seek. Knock. What does ask mean? Privilege to get. What does knock mean? Persistence until it's open. What does seek mean? I know what I'm looking for. Is anybody hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Say with me, God, I didn't hear you, God. is able yes. to do. Yes. Say it again. Exceeding. Abundantly. Combine these two phrases together. 
Number one, do exceeding. Number two, abundantly. Combine them. March 1974, Professor Hoya came to my office. I said, I've been looking for you since morning. Where have you been? He said, the university, what's the name of your body? Planning committee. We have been holding meeting for two days now. I said, Professor Hoya, I'm tired of your holding meeting. <laughs> you know I don't have the gift of meeting. I have the gift of meeting the need. Not M-E-E-T-I-N-G, endless. But the need, the gift of meeting the need. I say, I give you two weeks to go and announce that your students are going to start school. Or else, I dissolve your committee. Do you know in three days, he and Pastor Mike Okagbari worked, no sleeping, and produced form for people to apply. Do you know in six weeks from the day I rebel against his meeting, meeting, <laughs> school resumed. And now in 25 months, go and see. If it was before, I would have mentioned to you what we have spent. But it's now go and see. Do you hear what I'm saying? Everyone sitting has an engine inside to stand up. Everyone standing have an engine And everyone that rose have capacity. This place and that place, which is higher? on the floor there, get here. Everybody stand. Say with me by faith. No power will tie me down to where I have been from now. God will lift me and put me on the move. In Jesus' name. Now listen. Did anybody hear what I'm saying? Until you hash from the egg, you have no good name. And when you are hash, and you burst from the shell, the Bible says God is able to do. Once it was conceived, second, it was action, third, it was started, fourth, we are improved. There's a dream in you, John. There's a power in you. Capacity of success is in everybody. When God made you, he made you a replica of himself. He put himself inside you. And you have no power to demean what God has esteemed. Even if it is your will to fail, you have no power to fail. If you hook yourself to God. What will break the chain of failure? Link yourself to him that is above only. He cannot be there and leave you here. 
And what's the good news, Chris? God never cut the rope that tie you and him. Even when you lose sight of him, because you are chained to him, he's able to do exceeding abundantly more than we ask or think. When they told me in Jerusalem, you cannot return, no plane. I say it's a lie. I will go. What is wrong if I phone Dr. Festus and say, Festus, tell the Hoya, Hoya, tell the congregation. I wanted to come, but no flight. I've been in Jerusalem. But when I said, I, I told the church, I'm coming here on Sunday, I will preach. And this, what did I go to Israel for? This is the award by the mayor of Jerusalem. This is it. This is it. This is it. The second thing I went there for is to be permitted by the government of Israel to sign the scroll. The Bible was translated from the scroll that was written by Moses till Malachi and from the disciples to the book of Revelation. There's a new one being signed now by those that will be printed 3,000 years from now. I must to put my signature on this ministry. I did not only go to Israel, I brought the fruit from the land, but what I went for was not only successful, it was successful. That is the paper side of it. But what is your gain? Outside the paper is that God told me from today he has given you capacity for success. Any dream that is bigger than you, you don't need to carry it in your head. You put it in his hand. And once it gets to the hand of God, principalities and powers in heavenly places can be made manifest, manifold on your behalf. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. I stand here by the authority God gave me to declare the capacity of God to fill your inner man that your yesterday's maximum will become your today's minimum. Yeah. That you retire yesterday to inspire your today. That the grace of God that lifted you from birth, that brought you forth from the belly and gave you feet to walk, will now give you grace to grow. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.